This is Josh Olmstead. Welcome to Northwest Disc Golf's coverage of Round 3 of the Zoo Town Open, presented by Inc. Realty Group. This is an A-tier event out of Missoula, Montana, at the Blue Mountain Disc Golf Course and the Sky Ranch Disc Golf Course. Glad you could join us. If you enjoy our coverage, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and also check out our Patreon page. Joining me on the coverage today is Nick Marshall, owner of Odin Disc Golf Bags. You all set, Nick? I'm all set and ready to watch some good disc golf. Oh yeah. On the third round card, we've got Christian Dietrich, Matt Miller, Justin Cornoyer, and Ben Squires. Uh, ready to duke it out in the last of the three main rounds. There is a final eight that the top five guys can get into, so they're going to be pushing hard to make sure they get into that uh, final eight. And first up, we've got hole one, 480 foot par four. Um, this is a really steep uphill par four. Um, it's really hard to tell on camera behind these guys just how steep this is. You'll see it when we look back down the hill. And uh, first up, we have Christian Dietrich from uh, Helena, Montana. Originally a local from Missoula, but now he runs uh, runs some of the events out there. Next up, we got Matt Miller from Spokane, Washington. That works. Good drive uphill. Yeah, how's it starting on a hole that's this uphill on the first hole, Nick? Oh, yeah. Never fun. You always have to really just crank it, especially, you know, when you're um, probably waiting around a little bit after that two minutes. Uh, getting that accuracy up the hill is not easy. Yeah, definitely hard to stick the fairway when you're throwing that steep. And this is actually uh, one of the hardest holes. This is tied for the hardest hole to par on the course. Um, at just a little bit over at 4.08 uh, strokes. Um, it's the hardest of the five par fours on the course, so uh, they definitely start uh, start hard here at Sky Ranch. It's a lot of shoal to get through. Absolutely. Yeah, up. yeah, Christian looks like he almost got up to the green. He'll have a long putt. You can see here Matt kind of found the fairway Ooh. in the upper <gasps> gap, but he just Looking misses good. it. Great line on it. See if Ben can sneak it up there. Looks like he might have just clipped something. Yeah, I believe that would give him a putt for par, so he'll have a little pressure putt on the first hole. Here's Justin for his birdie. He's got a good long attempt. Oh, yeah, he had focus on that one. Just, just about. Yeah, I'm playing through those tight tree gaps. Yeah, Iron like branch like that standstill straddle putt you really just gotta snap it with all you got yeah you can't really see like how angled these shots are they just kind of from the video it looks kind of straight on but yeah definitely a lot of incline they're working with here yep so justin taps out his four and looks like everyone's getting a par except for ben who taps out his bogey so We'll see if they can get back on the birdie train on the next hole. Christian so far has been just setting fire. He's uh, 18 under after two rounds. Awesome. Yeah. First round, 1075. Didn't slow down in round two. So I think it's going to be a question of uh, who can step up and catch him. As uh -huh. possible. Yeah, as we move on to hole two, 242 foot par three. Definitely a big change of pace after hole one. And <laughs> um, the first of a lot of downhill par threes on this course. This is a really fun course to play um, oh yeah you have to have that touch buddy. though yeah cd consistent Woo! touch yeah, it's pretty uh, tiny gaps you know yeah it's really uh the player who can throw the the really straight putter and mid-range shots is going to get a lot of birdies yeah. here because <laughs> most of the holes mo especially the <laughs> nice par threes right. almost all of them are reachable but none of them are gimmies uh, as you can see they're playing through a very tight gap and that's a nice straight Button. shot from justin he'll be about 25 short Ben Squires, should have mentioned, from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. He was the defending champion. He won in 2016, so um, he's got a little catch-up work to do, but he's going to look to see if he can get back for two years in a row. That's a, that's a big hill to climb. <laughs> yep, yep, but, you know, it's a, it's a scoreable course. It's definitely a course where you can rack up a lot of birdies and make a push. Matt, unfortunately, just misses his. Maybe those early round jitters on a lead card. Sure, definitely. Yeah, that's a good birdie right. for Christian. I'll do it again. <laughs> Christian's not uh, unfamiliar with playing in front of a camera. 
Yeah, yeah, Christian definitely uh, highest rated pro um, in the tournament. Definitely, I would say the favorite going in um, as he gets us started off with a birdie on hole two, pushing his lead to seven strokes over Matt. Um, Matt had a solid second round to jump up onto the lead card. Uh, as we move on to hole three, um, this is the second longest hole on the course, 565 foot par four. Um, another very significantly uphill par four, uh, but this one's a little bit wider than some of the other holes. Hole snakes up, up into the right off the tee shot on a gentle dog leg. Um, it really you, tightens up at the end though, right? Yeah, you really want to get as far down as you can because uh, low, the last 200 feet are a very tight tunnel. and. Uh, it's definitely placement golf here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a righty, you really got to get that turned over pretty hard. Yeah, you can see Matt's going to have a tough time over there on the left. Yeah, it's a great shot. Yeah, it's that's nice. Yeah, that's picture perfect. Probably 370 feet right up the fairway, uphill. Yeah, that's the line I was thinking. Great shot. Yeah, good shot from Ben. And Christian first up on the second shot. Wow. Pretty good. <laughs> Didn't hit anything. Yeah, that's a solid shot. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see because uh, it was quite a ways, but yeah, he's he's right up there on the green. He'll have a good putt for his birdie. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's a nice yeah. slow turn on that one. Yeah, this is the second hardest par four on the course. Um, you'll see a lot of the other, with the exception good. of hole 14, most of the other par fours, well, the other two, um, are quite a bit shorter, so. This is one of the one of the few holes oh, where oh, these guys yeah. really have to bring out two full drivers, yeah, especially yeah, with how steeply uphill the second shot is. And Justin had a real nice upshot there. Yeah, he'll have a very easy putt for birdie. Mm -hmm. Nice smooth putt. Yeah, gave it a good run. Mm -hmm. So Christian just yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice wow, that was a beautiful putt. Thought we might get to see that on replay, but <laughs> certainly, uh, well played, certainly sir. a worthy putt yeah. and a good tap in. Well, not quite a tap in, but a good putt from Justin from about 15. Yeah, the, you know, those 30 footers are um, for birds especially are not easy, yeah. especially when you're putting you know 10 feet uphill. Mm -hmm. You really have to force yourself to commit to giving it enough power. So Christian and Justin take birdies, and uh, Justin jumps up to a tie for second with Matt at 12 under par. Christian certainly not showing any signs of slowing down. And uh, much like hole one to hole two, we're going back to a short downhill par three in hole four, 238 feet. Um, these guys are definitely getting an up and down workout, uphill, downhill. This is another really tight tunnel shot, really just one path to the hole. Um, I think sometimes as long as you don't have too many on a course, you know, sometimes wow. it's fun to have holes that really just force you to play one defined line. Look at the roll though. Um, Still working for you. As you can see, it's just tucked tuck down to the left, yeah. about 20 feet off the center line. So you need a disc that's going to have a nice gentle fade left, maybe a putter mid-range. Wow, nice kick. Okay. Yeah, maybe just get a little skip there at the end. Uh. Yeah, it looks like Ben will have a maybe 35-footer. Got a good kick off that tree going forward down the hill. Nice save up. Yeah, interestingly, for being, um, I believe, the shortest par three on the course, this is actually played as one of the hardest to par um, at a little bit over par. Well, yeah, that uh, basically, if you don't go yeah, down, that's a nice putt. Nice putt. Maybe we should, okay. maybe better show that one again. Yeah, I think we're going to get a <laughs> chance to give that a second go here from the other angle. Nice. Between the trees. Oh, just sneaks it over the top of the rim. That's a good putt from Ben. And uh, after that bogey on one, good job getting back to par. Get a fresh start on the round. <laughs> Scorecard better not say two. Scorecard will say zero. <laughs> Definitely a friendly bunch of guys here. I really heard uh, nothing but positive things from the guys on the top cards this weekend. Nice. So.
Jones Christian, up to 10 Matt, par. and Justin all take pars, and Ben gets the nice birdie. Still pretty tight. You know, after that number one spot, it's still a battle going. Absolutely. So hole five, 255 foot par three. This is another fun downhill par three, another really tight tunnel shot. Really challenges these guys to throw these laser putter, laser mid range shots. Uh, and you can see there, the first rule of these tight tunnel holes, do not throw it high or you're going to catch those branches. Yeah. I feel like you would want to go just a little long so you could have an uphill forever. comeback putt instead of that second <laughs> death putt, you know? Yeah. And with a hole that's this far downhill, you know, if you put it a little bit past, it's it's good. But at the same time, you give it a little bit too much power and you can be <laughs> 50, 60 feet down the hill in a hurry. Right. Um, there is not too much of a backstop here. <clears throat> Good job. Matt almost gets it down there. Maybe two more trees to clear. All these guys are needing to attack, you know. You gotta get try to close that gap as much as possible. So yeah, if they're going for the win, uh, you know, it's they're not quite out of time. There's you know still the rest of this round in the final eight, but uh, with an eight-stroke deficit, uh, the time is now. We've seen we've definitely seen you know players like Macbeth do it. Yep, yep. It's possible. Absolutely. But uh, Christian keeping the foot on the gas. That is his third birdie of the round on five holes. And the only birdie on the card. So he's going to push his lead out to nine strokes. And a very impressive 21 under par so far. As Matt here is going to tap out his par. Pretty consistent golf so far. No one's really made any significant mistakes. But... Uh, no one else besides Christian really getting far under, so. Right. We move on to hole six. This is the easiest hole on the course, um, despite being a little bit longer than some of the other par threes, 300 feet. Still uh, got a little bit of a guardian tree thing going right at the end there, though. Not an easy hole by any means. Yep. Yeah, on the pro field for round three and the final eight combined averaged... Uh, just a hair over oh, two and a half strokes, two point five four. Easiest That's hole on the course to par, and I think you know a lot of it's just because you know it's a righty hyzer, and um, it actually yeah, flattens up, so you don't do have too like much danger going finesse, far. Yeah. Right, so, so might as well just go for it. Yeah, just keep it low, throw it right at it. Uh, that's looking Thanks. perfect from Justin there. That's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, slide it on up there. He's parked. Yeah. I'll all three of the drives so far, and this one as well, are all looking good. That gets down. Nice shot there from Matt. So, Justin here, first to clean up from about 25. Very nice. Yeah, he's got a really smooth stroke. Long, long putting stroke. Puts a lot of snap on the disc. Nice around the tree there by Matt. Yeah, I definitely. You know, Justin's playing a lot of tournaments. Um, and he's relatively new to the MPO field, so he's definitely someone to watch out for here in the... You couldn't tell by watching his play. He play he's playing pretty smooth. Yep. Christian, no stranger to the top of the lead cards. And ben here tapping out his birdie, so looks like we're going to have a star frame here on star this. Star frame. Six. First of the round. I'm going to guess potentially not the last, given... Hmm. Uh, some of the shorter par threes on this course, but always good to see pros taking care of business. We move on to hole seven, 278 foot par three. Breaking up the run of these downhill par threes, we've got an uphill shot straight over a grove, of these young trees. Um, you can see the hole um, up from the tee. Uh, you mostly just have to keep a high hyzer, try to get over these trees and sneak up to the pin. Kind of like that. Yeah. A little short left, but yeah, you have to really there. commit to staying to the right because uh, as yeah, right. Ben as well is gonna bleed out into those guardian trees. Mm -hmm. Although it looks like he might have squirted through. Yeah, really, I think getting a a good hyzer flip with a fade at 278 feet is not really that easy to do. Definitely takes a good amount of touch. Yep, gotta float it up. But also make sure that you don't fade out early or flip over to the right. Right. Definitely want to mention, you know, this is a really 
well well manicured course for a forest course. Um, I was talking with uh, tournament director Brian. He said this course is only about a year old. Wow. It's actually on some private property. Um, the couple who owns the land, they had about 72 acres, and they didn't quite know what they wanted to do with it. And uh, they met up with a local disc golfer, and uh, he was like, well, why don't you put a disc golf course out there? And it's quickly turned into yet another really excellent um, Missoula course. Um, in years past, oh, they played this at Blue Mountain and, and on a traditional ball golf course, whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> But uh, this year they're switching up to Sky Ranch, and I've definitely heard really positive comments uh, about the course. Definitely, for a young course, it looks like a lot of fun. I'd love to play here. Yep. Yeah. Time to take a trip out, out to Montana. It's as good a reason as any. So, hole seven, uh, nothing too exciting. Everyone gets par three. Um, so Christian keeps his nine stroke lead over Matt and Justin. And now we're actually skipping hole eight um, on the regular course. Um, turn, uh, regular course is hole nine, but in the tournament layout, it's hole eight, 428 foot par four, really tight uphill par four, um, but it's actually the second easiest hole on the course to par. Um, so. Not too much of a defined fairway, but at the same time, you know, as long as you can get your first drive about 300 feet up this sort of left channel, um, really no matter where you are, you're going to have a pretty short upshot. Jeez. So it's just a lot between you and the basket. Yep. Ooh, ben looks like he caught a rough branch there, pretty much dropped him straight down. So he'll have some more work to do. Justin with a laser shot. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. What weight is that thing? textbook right Somebody there. Just yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> shot. He's going to have about 75 feet to the basket, making this par 4 look really short. You know how much that uh, tree gets hit every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a good give it a few years and there'll be a few less branches. Mm -hmm. So here's Ben after the unfortunate tree kick. That wasn't uh, too bad for how tight he was against that tree. Yep. Just get it up there. Make sure not to take a bogey. Just walk away with your par. Right. Christian going with the putter Wowzers. shot. That Very smooth. Beautiful. Wowzers. And, uh, you know, that's how you can tell you've got an experienced pro. Is, uh, you know, even when you get in a little trouble off the tee, if you've got... 180 foot straight putter shot that you can aim through those trees, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> check. Then yeah. asking for his disc to check up. He ends up about 25 feet down the hill. Get it! Mm. Oh, good good one. Nice eagle. Yep. Yeah. Definitely both in round two um, and so far, you know, Justin's got a really good form for those longer putts. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh, Ricky Wysocki, sort of the long arms, tall, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he's going to give all I those mean, 70, 80 footers a run. Especially if it's uphill, why not? Yep. So Justin taps out a nice birdie. And that's going to take his par. <laughs> so Christian and Justin taking birdies. Matt and Ben grab the par. Justin's starting to put together a good round three. He's three under par. But uh, Christian, five under par through eight holes as we move on to hole nine. 432 foot par four. He doesn't want to give him any any room to even hope. Yeah. You know? You've got to keep pressing even if you're that far ahead. This hole averaged uh, 3.75, a little bit under par, right in the middle of the uh, middle of the course in okay. terms of difficulty. <laughs> Nice shot. Yeah, but uh, a good bit harder than the last hole, even though they're just about the same distance. Yeah, you just really just have to get through that first set of trees, and you'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see out here from the tee, but uh, once they get up towards the green, it actually opens up into a meadow, um, and there's a little bit of room to work with. Um, but 
if you don't get up Ooh, at the man. hill there, it's a pretty tricky upshot. I, I could see this getting real hairy real quick if you hit something early. Yeah. So Ben here is going to play up right up to that large guardian tree there. That's a good job putting himself about 35 foot uphill putt. Got a birdie look. Absolutely. Matt here just a little bit closer but pretty similar shot to what Ben had. Nice uphill putt go coming at it on the next one. Uh, that's a pretty flick shot from Justin. Yeah, really good shot. Yeah, and he is parked. That's a drop in. And after a monster drive, Christian has only about 140 yeah. feet to the pin. <laughs> and uh, he makes that look textbook. Right. So it looks like he's going to go six under on the first nine holes. Ooh, so close. Yeah, following up his round one where he shot... Uh, 13 under for 1075. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Good birdie there from Justin. So you said that was a uh, 1070 rated round? 1075. 1075, yeah, that's good way to start a tournament. No joke. So Matt and Ben both take pars as that finishes out our front nine coverage here of round three. Christian holding a nine-stroke lead over Justin. Uh, Justin keeping up good pace, though. Four under for the round. Matt and Ben at one under. And we hope you will join us for the back nine here at the Zootown Open. Thanks, guys.